how to sign up and use Proton Drive for free. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link for Proton Drive. Once you've clicked on my referral link, you'll be taken to Proton Drive's overview page. Before we sign up to Proton Drive, I just want to give you a quick summary on what exactly Proton Drive is. Proton Drive is a secure cloud storage and file sharing service. It is end-to-end -end encrypted. It has Swiss privacy as Proton is headquartered in Switzerland. Proton Drive is open source and it's built with privacy in mind. That's just a quick summary on what exactly Proton Drive is. I'm now going to scroll back up to the very top to get started with the sign up process. To sign up with Proton Drive, you can either click on create a free account at the top right hand corner or create a free account at the top of the page here. I'm going to click on this create a free account button. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to the following page where you can select your Proton Drive plan. As you can see, you have a couple of options here. The option that we're going to be going with is the free plan called Proton Free, where we get one gigabyte of storage. It's free forever and it has end to end encryption. The other plans, of course, are paid versions. To sign up to Proton drive for free, simply click on get Proton for free. You'll now need to pick a username, enter in a password and repeat that password, then click on create account. Now, of course, guys, for me, I already have a Proton account, so I'm not going to create a new account. So I'm simply going to click on sign in. Now I'm going to enter in my Proton account details so I can continue to Proton drive. I've now entered in all my account details and I'm going to click on sign in. Once you've created your Proton account and signed into Proton drive, you'll be taken to the following web page where you're greeted with a welcome message to Proton Drive. Click on start using Proton Drive. You'll now be taken to your Proton Drive dashboard. Here you can start uploading files to Proton Drive's cloud storage. You can either do that by clicking on new upload at the top left hand corner or simply click on the button upload files. And there's one more way you can simply and easily drag and drop files into Proton Drive to upload them. For me guys, I'm going to use the drag and drop method. To do this, I'm simply going to restore down my browser window here to be taken to my desktop. On my desktop, I have three files. One is an image file file, the other is a PDF file, and finally, the last file is a video file. To upload these onto Proton Drive, I'm just going to left click and highlight all three. I'm then going to left click on one of them and drag them all into my Proton Drive browser window. I'm now going to maximize my browser window. As you can see guys, the files that I drag and dropped are now uploaded. I'll be back with you once all three have been uploaded to my Proton Drive cloud storage. As you can see, all three files have been successfully uploaded, and you can see that by the status of uploaded and the full green in progress bar. I'm now going to close the transfer window here as all my files have been uploaded. Now that we've got all our files uploaded to our Proton Drive, I'm now going to show you how you can interact with your Proton Drive when you've got files uploaded on there. So for example, if I wanted to read the Lorem Epsom PDF file here, I'd simply just double click on it. My PDF file is now viewable on my Proton Drive. As you can see, it's just a two page document. I can cycle through all my files that I have uploaded on Proton Drive using the arrows at the very top here. So for example, if I wanted to go to my image file that I have uploaded, I can simply click on the back arrow here. And here is the image file that I uploaded to Proton Drive. This of course is going to be the thumbnail for this video. And now if I click on the back arrow here one more time, it should be my video file, which might take a couple of seconds for it to load the preview. As of course, this is a larger file than the other two. And there we go. I'm now able to preview my video file. I'm just going to mute the volume here and I'm going to click on play just to show you that it is indeed working. And there we go, it is. I'm going to pause it now. Next, I want to show you how you can share a file with somebody else. So to do this, I'm just going to go to my image file as that's a smaller file. So to share this image with other people, you can simply click on the share button here at the top right hand corner. So I'm just going to click on it now. Proton Drive will now generate a share link. Now I can share this image file via this link here. I can adjust the privacy settings by clicking on the arrow next to privacy settings here. I can protect this image file with a password and set an expiry date if I want. And I can also stop sharing this image. You can generate a share link for any of your files that you have uploaded on Proton Drive. So if I wanted to share this file with somebody else, all I would need to do is copy the link address here by clicking on this button and then give this link to the person that I want to share with. So for example, I'm now going to pretend that somebody has shared this link with me and I'm going to view it. To demonstrate this, I'm just going to open up an incognito window here and I'm going to paste in the share link. Proton Drive will then show me all the files that are shared with me via this link and give me an option to download these files. So that's exactly what a person will see when they've received a share link from you. I'm now going to close out this window to be taken back to my Proton Drive. To stop sharing this file, all you need to do is click on stop sharing.
sharing and then click on stop sharing again. The share link will then be deleted and you'll stop sharing your file. If you wanted to download any of your files that you have uploaded onto your Proton Drive, you can simply click on the download button here, which looks like this. If you want more information, you can click on this little eye icon here to get more details. And of course, if you want to go back to your Proton Drive dashboard, simply click on the X to close. You have a few more options at the top of your Proton Drive dashboard. A lot of the buttons here are very similar. So you have preview, you have download, you have get link, you have move to folder, you have rename, you have details, and you have move to trash. On the left hand side, you have my files, which I'm currently in. You have shared where you can see all your shared files files and you have trash. If you wanted further individual options for each file, just simply hover over one of your files. So I'm hovering over my PDF file here and navigate to the right hand side to the three vertical dots. Left click on these three vertical dots. Here you get further options such as preview, download, get link, move to folder, rename, details and move to trash. Similar buttons again to what you have at the top here and when you're previewing that specific file. Lastly, if you wanted to create a new folder, simply right click anywhere on the blank area of your Proton Drive. Here you can create a new folder, upload a file, upload folder, or get a share link. And with that guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to sign up and use Proton Drive for free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.